Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. On this channel, we try to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the SQL 50 Crack SQL interview in 50 question series where we are trying to learn hands-on SQL using 50 carefully curated questions covering diverse aspects of SQL. So we were already done with the select part and currently on basic joins. After this, we'll be working on basic aggregate functions, then sorting and grouping, advanced select and joins, subqueries, and finally on advanced string functions, regex, and clauses. Okay. In the previous video, we worked on this question question called average time of process per machine and learn three things firstly how to perform a self join using inner join secondly how to write multiple statements in the on clause while performing a join and thirdly how to calculate averages in mysql okay in this video we are going to solve this question employee bonus and try to learn from it so yeah let's jump right in so this is the 11th question of the series employee bonus and if you look at the companies this question has been asked in so google amazon netsuite so kind of an important question let's look at the question we are given a table called employee with four different columns employee id names supervisor and salary imp id is the column with unique values for this table each row of this table indicates the name and the id of an employee in addition to their salary and the id of their manager we are also given a second table called bonus with two different columns employee id and bonus employee id is the column of unique values for this table employee id is also a foreign key that is a reference column to employee id from the employee table each row of this table contains the id of an employee and their respective bonus we are asked to write a solution to report the name and bonus amount of each employee with a bonus less than 1000 order of the result does not matter so basically if we look at it right so here we have the employee table four different employees brad john dan and thomas and we have the bonus table some of them and their bonuses right so if you look at it right so what is uh employee id2 right so employee id2 is dan bonus is 500 which is obviously less than 1000 so this should be in the output uh the employee id4 is thomas you know the bonus is 2000 obviously greater than 1000 so it should not be in the output so thomas should not be in the output dan should be in the output and for brad and john we do not have anything in the bonus table right so in the output we are also keeping brad and john so basically what we are assuming is that if there is no bon bonus in the bonus table for a particular employee id that person did not get any bonus that is the bonus is zero zero is less than 1000 and therefore we are keeping that in our output okay so since in the output we need the name and also the bonus part we need to perform a join right and secondly we should perform a left join keep employee table on the left and bonus table on the right right because we need the names of all the people irrespective of whether they have a bonus or not right okay so what we can do is from this table called employee aliased as a let's left join the bonus table aliased as b on and this we establish that employee id is the primary key for this table employee id is a reference key or a foreign key for bonus table right so we can use the employee id column to join this two tables so e dot employee id is equal to b dot employee id right and let me you know return all the columns and see what we are getting okay so let me do select star let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we have here okay so wrong answer because not yet complete but if you look at our output right so we have the employee id name supervisor and salary from the employee table and employee id and bonus from the bonus table now there is one thing that we should keep in mind so here the question says that okay bonus should be less than 1000 if we directly go ahead and you know filter that okay wherever your bonus is less than 1000 you see this you know is not going to return us the correct answer let me do this where bonus is coming from the bonus table so b dot bonus is less than 1000 right this should return all these three you know rows but it is not let let's see the our output so it is only returning for dan what is happening to brad and john right so what is happening is that sql is unable to compare null values with a certain number or an integer right so that is why what do we need to do is either you can do the explicit way that whatever we wrote right so where b dot bonus right b dos bonus is less than thousand and we know that we also need to keep the nulls one so we can write or b dot bonus is null 
right b dos bonus is learned and in our output we are only required to keep the name name is coming from the employee table right so if i go ahead and write e uh, e dot name and in and bonus column so b dot bonus let me go ahead and run this let's see what happens so yeah this is accepted our output is same as expected output right but this is very explicit way of doing this right another way to do this is like where we can condense these two lines into one is that instead of you know so let me go ahead and remove this part right let me remove this part and run this again so what if before comparing the bonus column to 1000 assign a certain value any value less than 1000 so that we do not have to write the or clause so what i am saying is what if you know so when it is null so let's do where if you know the value in the bonus column from the bonus table so b dot bonus is null right then you can replace it with anything less than 1000 ideally let's do it for with zero then you compare it whether it is less than or equal to 1000 or not right let me go ahead and run this again now so yeah this is accepted as well our output is same as expected output so you can do any way both of them are equally good but this is a more condensed way your code will like look more cleaner right and let me go ahead and submit to if pass all the test cases so yeah this is accepted and this is how we do it so not a very difficult question all we had to do was you know merge the information from these two tables because we need the name from one table and bonus from another and then we also learned about how we can compress you know two or clauses into one if you are having a null you replace it by zero and then compare it with thousand then you are able to compare with thousand right a number sql is able to do that and it returns whatever is required in our output let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video